Hey guys and gals on YouTube, how are y'all doing today? Today is May 22nd, 2021. My dad's birthday, actually. Um, so, it's a good time to show off our, the Lego sets we grew up with. Maybe I shouldn't say we. I'm kind of old. Maybe I should say me. These guys here are from the old truck series. Dumping bed. This little brick on top has an axle that passes through, so it allows you to turn the truck. These little things, bricks that they still make actually, you use, to, use a little rope to pull your toy truck. And I've always found it kind of curious that, oh, I can't do this one handed. These doors open, we'll find one that opens a little easier. This is a tow truck. These little clips that are here break easily. Like this one right here is broken. If you also notice the wheels were gray, the tires, these rubber tires were gray back then. And of course this is a moving truck. The little doors do open on the side. And they have doors on the back that also. Kind of a unique build pattern. They have this piece on top and the doors, when you open a door, let's just take a modern day minifigure, let's pick on Lloyd here. If I put Lloyd here, it almost looks like it's a minifigure skill, doesn't it? And this one came with a blue tow truck. And notice how they they got away from this style and they went to more of what we know today. Although you're not going to find a printed brick that big nowadays. But the doors are still retained and this steering brick is still retained. But we went to these spoke wheels. And we have dual axles for such a big truck. If you notice, this here and this one are still the same. And yeah, moving on now, we have set 492 with the, the little 1x4 printed brick. A little very, this is a one piece trailer. These are hard to get. You gotta watch these joints at break. Here's a little. Here's one that's not on the trailer. If you notice, no hole on top of that 1x1. And this is 1977. This, these figures are here, or probably pre. And so we, uh, many figures weren't quite what they are now. But these two guys are supposed to pushing full barrels. And then here's this little selection of different figures, including a female. You know, nowadays <clears throat> we like to talk about having dual printing on both sides. Back then we like to talk about having no printing on any side. And no hands. You can say he's disarmed because he doesn't have any arms. And then more trucks over here, a police car. Notice no translucent, just simply. But it is all printed pieces. <clears throat> no stickers. You know how to fill out stickers. These are the 492 Tipper truck, also known as 612 if it's a European package. Brickstar's channel can tell you a lot more about that. And that pretty much wraps that part up. And what I want to bring you all to is I made, when I was a child, I made what I thought was a girl that looked like Wendy from the meetup from the uh, Wendy's Spurs. What do you think? Does it look like Wendy to you? I thought it looked like Wendy when I was a kid. And do you guys ever watch Gilligan's Island? Does this not look like Alan Hale, the skipper? I think it does. That was my intention anyways. I think it looks a lot like the skipper. It's just he's not fat. Anyways, if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up, give me a like, give me a follow, and uh, let me know what you think. Um, are you old enough to have had vintage sets like this, or are these just from the memory of Lego past, before stickers were invented, in other words? Y'all take care of yourselves. Stay safe. Ciao.